Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another exciting night of NBA basketball. This is a broadcaster's admiration piece for me because I, I'm amazed at how great you guys have been for so long. I, I have such great respect for both of you. What has it meant to you to be part of this organization for as long as you have? Well, let me jump in there and say I, I've been lucky. Good evening, everybody. I'm George Blaha, welcoming you to the excitement of the NBA draft. I think <laughs> you have to be fortunate that somebody way back when took a chance on you, and, and he stuck with me. It's been a great run, and uh, I've been very, very fortunate. Blaha! All right. <laughs> exactly what George said. I mean, it's first, it's a blessing. Second of all, to work for a great organization like the Pistons, it's a family, you know, and you feel like you're part of that family, and that makes that makes it so comfortable to do what we do. Oh, what a dunk! George, when you took the job, did you think, yeah, this is something I'll do the rest of my life? Well, when I was lucky enough to get the job, I thought, man, I don't want to mess this up. I would love to do this as long as I'm physically able to do it. I wanted to do games in a working man's town for a team that people cared about. The fact that this was one of the teams that I cheered for and paid close attention to uh, made it all that more special, really. Three, two, one. Go Go to it. It. When I was in, in Tampa for 17 years, it was a great job, I enjoyed what I was doing, but when I found out that I had a chance to move to Detroit, I mean, I, I jumped on it because such a great sports town, just like George says, some of the greatest fans in the world. And once I got there, off I went. I want to ask you about catchphrases, because you, you both have them. How do they start? And do you need a catchphrase if you're in broadcast? Chauncey to the corner for the long gun. He got it! Count that baby in a foul. I, that just happened. That just happened. That just happened. Then I thought, you know, there... It is important when a guy scores, gets fouled, and can go to the line. So I got excited about it one night, and then I said, man, let me use that again. <laughs> Myers fills it. Count that baby hit a foul. I'll be honest with you. I think the only one I have is, is the holy mackerel call. All right, you're holy and, mackerel. The holy mackerel. And the kick back to Ivy for three. I don't know where that developed. My dad used to say that, so I, I'm assuming that maybe that's where it started, where it came from. And uh, I think the important thing for any of the young broadcasters is not to, you know, write down exactly, okay, I'm going to say this tonight and this tonight when this happens. And No, it's, it's got to come organically. For somebody who's just getting into broadcasting, what would you tell them they need to know about having a long career? I would say, you know, do as much as you can. Uh, get the working, get the reps in, and, and don't worry about the money. Even if you do the game for free, you, you're there to get the reps. I agree with Mark. Start where you can do a lot of different things uh, that point you in the right direction, and, uh, and then enjoy the journey. You're going you're gonna to get better uh, the more games that you do, and sooner or later a break will come. Whatever you do, don't give up. Thanks for joining us for our game coverage. So long.